Now I am going to explain in this video about phenols. So phenols are aromatic alcohols. Phenols are aromatic alcohols and this is the simplest aromatic. It is simplest. Simplest aromatic alcohol and this phenols or phenol is also commonly called as carbolic acid. Its common name is carbolic acid. Carbolic acid is the common name. Common name or you can say trivial name. Trivial name and it is used in toilet soaps or bath soaps because it has you know antiseptic property. Phenols are you know alcohols but they are acidic in nature. They are not basic or they are not as such they are distinctly acidic in nature we will see later on. Now similarly they can be monohydric, they can be dihydric, they can be trihydric. See how. Now coming to you know some different types of phenols. So phenols you know they can have two hydroxyl groups. See this is called resource phenol. Common name. This is common name, resource phenol common name and its alkyl name is benzene 1,3 diode. This can be 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 3. Both are same. The same. Similarly, this catechol, catechol is the common name and it is benzene 1, 2 diode. This can be 1 or this can be 1. It is up to you. This can be on this side also, no issue. Even it can be on the other side. It is nothing like that if I write here this and here this. So it is up to us. If the groups are same, position can be one any. Now if it is one and four, so it is called as hydroxyquinone or it is only called as quinone. Common name is quinone or hydroxyquinone and Benzene 1 4 diol is the alkyl. In addition to this, children, some other groups may be present. Like, see here, if it has you know methyl CH3, so it is called as orthocrisol O for ortho. O for ortho. Then M this. CSCM, this is M for meta and this P for para. So, children, ortho is used, ortho is used for you know, position between 1 and 3, meta is used, this is 1 and 2, meta between 1 and 3 here, and this para, para is. 1 and 4. So this is very important to know. Ortho. You can keep in mind this Om Prakash. Simple. Om Prakash you have to keep in mind. 1, 2, 1, 3 and 1, 4. 1, 4 is Prakash. And Om, 1, 2, Ma. Om, 1, 2 and 1, 3. And so this is simple. So Orthocrisol, Metacrisol and Paracrisol. They are the common names. They are the common names. Now coming to uh, alkyl name. So see here this carbon one, this carbon two. Because you know OH is stronger. OH group is stronger, and so methyl group is you know side chain. So this is you know two common name is two methyl phenol. Two methyl phenol. See here one is not written. Here is you know. 3 methyl phenol and this is you know 4 methyl phenol. So this is there and if you take phenol, so phenol is accepted. Phenol, this phenol is accepted in alpha casual common. 
this is relaxation given by IPSC committee that this phenol, this name, it is there in IUP as well as common. IUP and common both we can use. But this carbolic acid is trivial name or what we say uh, as you know word for common people. Now coming to the preparation of phenols. So children phenols you know they are prepared by some specific methods. Phenol cannot be prepared by any other reaction like you know suppose you take the any benzene or any compound of halorine derivative of halorine and you treat with NaOH or any alcohol. So you cannot add OH group you know OH means have negative charge it is nucleophile. So nucleophilic uh, addition is not possible and phenol is prepared by some special methods because the benzene ring or phenyl ring is highly stabilized by resonance and the presence of delocalized electrons so delocalized electrons electron ring is present and if you see the benzene ring so you have the this type of structure here there is one ring and here there is another ring so these are delocalized electron ring so this ring this ring act as electron cloud and it prevents the attack of any nucleophile so direct addition is not possible just you know i am saying because many students write benzene plus NaOH so it will never going to produce this or chlorobenzene plus NaOH never or any compound direct addition of OH is not possible now coming forward so first is very important from halorines halorines can be taken but you know it is by Dow's process you have seen in the properties of halorine so Dow's process chlorobenzene this is chlorobenzene on treatment with you know a strong a strong NaOH a strong NaOH can be taken very strong 80 percent 90 percent solution or even solid can be taken at very high temperature 623 Kelvin and very high pressure mention the condition the conditions have to mention it is at 623 Kelvin temperature and 3 and atmospheric pressure so you can imagine the stability of benzene this is the reason so in this condition this chlorine is removed and there is mention of this is sodium phenoxide this is sodium phenoxide and it is you know sodium salt of the benzene then this one hydrolysis HOH hydrolysis in presence of uh, acid and so there is formation of phenol so this is the you know formation of phenol by halorine now coming to this is very important reaction from benzene sulfonic acid benzene sulfonic acid you know sulfonic acid this is you know sulfonic acid group SO3H and so it is prepared by the treatment of benzene with oleum this is oleum H2S2 or 7 oleum oleum means two moles of concentrated sulfuric acid from which one mole of water has been removed so we heat slightly some heat has to be not very high temperature but slightly you know around 350 Kelvin around 350 Kelvin so there is formation of this is benzene sulfonic acid sulfonic acid group is present on this benzene so it is benzene sulfonic acid this one treatment with sodium hydroxide this is aqua sodium hydroxide as you know sulfonic acids are strongly acidic in nature strongly acidic in nature and this is benzene this is benzene sulfonic acid and this is you know sodium is there so it has the you know, positive charge, it has the negative charge. So it on basic hydrolysis treatment with NOH or KOH, and so there is some of you know. So this is a very important part. Now, other third very important reaction is from digonium salts. Digonium salts, so first see digonium means di means two, azo means nitrogen, and near means formation of benzene digonium chloride is called as digotization formation of benzene digonium chloride this is benzene digonium chloride is salt 
How it is prepared? It is prepared by taking aniline. Prepared by taking aniline. Aniline on treatment with aqueous sodium nitrite. This is sodium nitrite aqueous solution and concentrated HCl. Concentrated HCl and temperature is very crucial factor. Temperature must be around 505 degree Celsius or 277 because benzene-dizone chloride is very explosive in nature and it can cause explosion and on the action between sodium nitrate and this HCl there is formation of nitrous acid HNO2 HNO2 nitrous acid is formed nitrous acid is the key factor this nitrous acid is key factor and this is used in the dilutization or this is dilutizing agent as a result, there is one of our benzene dazen chloride and benzene dazen chlorides are highly reactive, they are highly unstable and they, you know, undergo hydrolysis. Simply take water and say, and there is mason or phenol. Now, this is very important point to note and so uh, this is there. Now coming to very important method and it is actually commercial method. On large scale, how phenol is prepared so it is from the cumin from cumin so cumin is basically cumin is common name and it is cumin common name and it is 2 phenyl protein and this on passing taken in very large you know vessel and air is passed through it, air is passed, so there is aerial oxidation, it is very reactive, aerial oxidation takes place and as a result there is solution of cumin, cumin hydro peroxide, it is an intermediate compound and it is also not so stable and simply based on acidic hydrolysis on treatment with water and dilute acid there is formation of phenol so there is the formation of phenol and here there is formation of acetone acetone common name or take name propane no so children this is very important point to note this is point number one now other point in conversion if suppose here there is the uh, this cumin. If anybody asks to convert benzene, suppose there is a question convert benzene into you know, there are several methods for benzene can be converted to chlorobenzene, but here in this, first we take the you know, benzene, benzene, and we take the this. This is propene and anhydrous AlCl3. Anhydrous AlCl3. This is, you know, shortcut to prepare. Very tricky part that this is, you know, what? This is Friedel Craft reaction. This is Friedel Craft alkylation. Friedel Craft alkylation. This and anhydrous aluminum chloride, Lewis acid. So there is version of this cumin and so this 2-phenylpropane or cumin and so this is important to note. Similarly, you can use anything. So this is about the preparation of phenol. Now about the properties of phenol. So you know phenol, it is colorless, colorless, crystalline solid colorless extreme solid in pure condition in pure condition if it is pure then it is colorless extreme solid in pure condition and if it is exposed to air then it becomes light pink and if very stale or long time stored so it may become light pink but in pure condition it is always colorless extreme solid and if it is exposed to air, moisture, then you know it absorbs moisture and it becomes runny, just like slightly liquid in nature. It is 
water soluble it is water soluble and aqueous solution aqueous solution is slightly acidic its aqueous solution is slightly acidic in nature in all side and its boiling and melting point is more than more than the corresponding more than corresponding hydrocarbons why is more than corresponding hydrocarbons because phenol can form the hydrogen bond and that's why when hydrogen bond is present so there can be more melting and boiling point so this is uh, about the physical properties now we'll see the chemical properties now coming to chemical properties of phenol so first point as detected so as you know phenols are distinctly acidic phenols any phenol phenols are distinctly acidic in nature and their ph is you know always around 3 or 4 depending on the amount of phenol dissolved in water and this acidic character is due to resonance stabilization if i write here phenol so phenol is you know it is dissociated when we take water so there is the formation of this phenoxide ion this is phenoxide ion plus there is formation of aluminium ion so this phenoxide ion is stabilized by resonance and as a result this H3O remains in the solution once again I am saying phenoxide ions are stabilized by resonance and thus the tendency to find out the hydronium ion is much more in the solution and as a result it is able to respond the acidic character now moving forward as it is acidic nature so it can react it can react with you know sodium metal sodium metal and there is solution of sodium phenoxide plus there is the liberation of hydrogen gas in the same manner it can react with you know any words any words at first so there is again the same product and thus there is the conversion of s so this is there similarly it can undergo esterification with a stronger acid so we'll see esterification of now you know phenols they are acidic but they are not so acidic than that of the any carboxylic acid so like that of alcohols they also form the you know ester like material or ester so here in presence of you know uh, concentrated sulfuric acid just few drops and slightly heat similarly acetic anhydride anhydride can be taken any anhydride can be taken we can uh, prepare as per the requirement then with the acid halide this is actually similar with the alcohols so alcohols they are acidic but they are more acidic than alcohols so if we take the acid halide here we will take the organic base poison and so this is it but the preference of the formation of esters is using this because the reactions of this acid carboxylic acid can be controlled easily and so this is there. In addition, it can also react uh, with other CH. Now coming to very important reaction. See, this is the uh, special type of reaction, and this is acetylation. Acetylation. This is special type of reaction, and we take the this ethanoic ethanoic anhydride, and this ethanoic anhydride. This is, you know, derivative of phenol. This is, you know, two hydroxy, 
टू हाइड्रोक्सी बेंजोइक एसिड टू हाइड्रोक्सी बेंजोइक एसिड दिस कार्बन इज वन दिस इज टू सो दिस ओ एच एच वीक सो इट इज द साइड सेन एंड दिस इज द मेन कंपाउंड इट इज कॉमन नेम इज सिलिसिलिक एसिड सिलिसिलिक एसिड और साइलिसिलिक एसिड बहुत हार्ड सेम एंड दिस इज एसिटाइलेशन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस हाइलिसिस टेक्स प्लस एसिक हाइलिसिस and here there is mention of you know a uh, very important point and this is well known pain killer aspirin you must be knowing aspirin pain killer anti pyretic right so this is you know this is strong group and so this is again the same product so this is aspirin and there is two acid toxic then why Yes. So these are some the reactions which are basic in nature, and they explains that phenol is having acidic character, acidic nature. Now it's the electrophilic substitution reaction in phenol. Now very important part in this phenol, it is electrophilic substitution reaction. So you know, children, phenol undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction easily. and we say phenols under go electrophilic substitution reactions easily because the ring is activated and the incoming groups are attached or substituted at the ortho and para position and the incoming incoming electrophiles incoming electrophiles are attached at the ortho and para positions One ortho and para positions only because this OH group is ortho para directing and so it can undergo nitration. So nitration, then halogenation, and many similar reactions are responded to you not know, very easily under some conditions. See how now as you know electrophiles. they can attack at the ortho and para position so variety of reactions are there so first we take the you know phenol so phenol on chicken we derive the chemistry it takes place you know at room temperature just dilute nitric acid and there is mention of two nitro phenol this is two nitro phenol or ortho nitro phenol and this is what this is Four nitro phenol. So this is there, and similarly, we may take concentrated uh, nitric acid, and so concentrated nitric acid, and so there is formation of two, four, six tri nitro phenol. Two, four, six tri nitro phenol. Now when we take the, this is bromination or halogenation can be there. Now, if you take this carbon dioxide, is used as solvent. It is not uh, taking part in reaction. This has been taken as solvent. Here, bromine liquid or liquid bromine has been taken, and so two and four bromophenol have been there. This is two bromophenol. This is two bromophenol, and this is four bromo. Phenol also this is there. Now this is again very important reaction. When we treat phenol with the bromine water, treat phenol with bromine water, there is formation of this product. There is formation of this product. Two for six tri bromophenol. This is two for six tri bromophenol. And this is having you know. 
white PPT. So this test can be used. This test can be used to distinguish any alcohol and phenol. This is very important test. You know, when we take just a project, any alcohol plus bromine, you know, equals what is a bromine water, so no white PPT. No white PPT. So, so this is very important point to note that phenol or treatment with bromine water, there is mention of 5 ppt of 2, 4, 6, 5 bromine water, but this is not. This is uh, 2, 4, 6, 3 nitrophenol, it is picric acid. And so this is about the electrophilic substitution reaction. Now after electrophilic substitution reaction, these are some special reactions of phenol. And this is very important reaction and it is called Kobe reaction. Kobe reaction. K O L B. L is silent, so it is called Kobe reaction. It's very simple. When phenol is treated with aqueous NOx, aqueous NOx, slightly heat has to be uh, required. So, slightly heat there, then there is a version of sodium phenoxide. Actually, I know phenoxide, they are the salts. And when we pass CO2 gas and followed by the hydrolysis, inference of acid or acidic medium hydrolysis, there is version of salicylic acid or it is you know 2 hydroxy, it is 2 hydroxy benzoic acid, 2 hydroxy benzoic acid, this is benzoic acid, this is benzoic acid. Common name, I will take name, benzene carboxylic acid, benzoic acid, both are same, benzene carboxylic acid. So this is very important reaction, this is called Kobe reaction. Now other very important reaction is Riemer-Trimer reaction, RT reaction, some persons call RT, but you know it is not there, we have to keep this mind, Riemer-Trimer, name of scientist. So this phenol on treatment with the NOx. And this chloroform, this CHCl3, it is used as solvent because phenol is soluble in water, but it is less soluble in water. Chloroform is taken because chloroform has neutral nature. In place of chloroform, there can be ether also, but uh, it has to be there to dissolve the phenol completely. So, as a result, there is formation of intermediate compound, and this is you know a special type of electrophilic substitution reaction. So, this CHCl2 group is present at the ortho position. Para position is there, but it is very less, so we neglect the you know other part. Then this on treatment with NOH aqueous here, there is aqueous NOH, slightly warm it. So there is much of the sodium salicylaldehyde. This is sodium salicylaldehyde. This is also a limited compound, and this again, this again on uh, acidic hydrolysis. Acidic hydrolysis, there is solution of you know salicylic high. This is salicylic high. Two hydroxy. This is two hydroxy benzyl dehyde. Salicylic dehyde is common name. This is big name. This is benzyl dehyde children. CHO and this. This is benzyl dehyde. This is benzyl dehyde. And so uh, these are two important reactions benzyl dehyde and so uh, this is the Kope and Rima Tiemann reaction. Now, next reaction. Now, we are in the last segment of this phenol. And you know, phenols are acidic in nature, so they behave as acids because hydrogen can be lost easily. So similarly in the same pattern they can react with zinc or aluminium and so this OH group can be lost in this. So when we treat and this phenol with zinc dust, ultra fine zinc dust and there is formation of benzene. Benzene is obtained. Similarly when we take chlorobenzene we will take chlorobenzene and if anybody asks chlorobenzene to phenol. So this is the benzene 
lower benzene to benzene. So this uh, on treatment with you know NaOH, NaOH there is version of you know uh, this uh, and CO2. So there is formation of ONA and this ONA it can be you know to treat this uh, with the you know there is the acidic hydrolysis and there is version of then phenol phenol and this phenol on treatment with thing. so this is the conversion how we uh, explain the reactions how explain the reactions see how this chlorobenzene douse process in words CO2 sodium phenoxide then hydrolysis then hydrolysis as the hydrolysis to form the phenol phenol on treatment so this is the root this is the very important step in the conversion so this is there so G plus actually we have to revise the things the points have to be keep in mind so this is there similarly you know phenols they can undergo oxidation also so phenols on heating with a uh, solid potassium dichromate or solid sodium dichromate because they are oxidizing agents phenol is stable it is stable not all but you know they are very strong oxidizing agents and we take the concentrated sulfuric acid we have to heat slightly and there is the formation of benzo phenol and so this is there about the chemical properties now coming to other uses of phenols so phenols you know phenols are used phenols are used in soaps in soaps phenol is added because phenol is slightly acidic in nature in soaps there is the preparation of dyes dyes are prepared dyes of different colors are prepared by coupling reactions and so uh, it is very important in uh, organic synthesis to prepare certain compounds then the preparation of medicines in the uh, germicidal nature you know mopping floor etc because its solution is also having uh, some character so this is all about the uh, phenols